it's a lovely evening and thank you so much Neelam ji for inviting me. I'm so happy. We are meeting for the first time but I am a great fan of hers for many years now and thank you Julie. Now I just loved this poem so I would rather read this poem first and talk about the book. The Ultimate Destination The wet morning often makes me wonder where was I heading towards? Was this what I desired in the core of my heart? A train passes by from the yard behind, disturbing my train of thoughts. It's raining outside. With me, I take an umbrella and walk towards the garden. The enchanting nature holds me tight. In its warm embrace, holds me tight, the enchanting nature holds me tight in its warm embrace, and I throw away the umbrella. Nature has always had a magical effect on my soul. I watch a few drops, right to the mingle with the ground. Some touch it gently, some fall with a thud, some mix merrily with the puddle that has emerged from nowhere and some warmly cuddle the earth. Am I not a drop in the vastness of the universe? How would I like to merge with the earth? The ultimate destination is well known, but I would love to be a cheerful drop. Dance with the stems, sway like a flower, pirouette with the zephyr, glow like the sun, twinkle like the stars, be the moon that appears, in the depths of the gently flowing river and touch the earth underneath with a smile on my lips. I think, uh, I think my very emotion uh, of poetry when I started writing has been, you know, condensed out here and been written in this poem. So I told Neelam Ji, I'm going to read this poem. So initially there was some problem. Then she said, Paramita, please go ahead. I just love this poem. And when I was going through these 50 poems, I found something very interesting. You know, there's a saying that, sorry, there's a saying that if you love yourself, then only can you love the world. And through the book, because like I told you, I don't know her very intimately, but through your 